Hi, my name is Marilyn Levon. I'm the Wildlife Education Manager here at the Kevin P. Clinton Wildlife Center at Lake Metro Parks Penitentiary Glen Reservation. Today, we're gonna to be talking about owls and owl pellets. First, we're gonna meet a few of our animal ambassadors, and then we'll get into talking about what an owl pellet really is. And this is Rufus. He's an Eastern Screech Owl. Eastern Screech Owls are native to Northeast Ohio and one of the more abundant owls that you will see and hear. And winter is a good time to hear Eastern Screech Owls, especially in our neighborhoods like the suburbs or wherever you live, they tend to like to live close by. This is Hemlock. Hemlock is a barred owl. Barred owls are very common here in Northeast Ohio. And this time of year in winter, the end of fall and winter is the best time to hear barred owls. They have a very loud signature call that sounds like who cooks for you. Lots of birds of prey produce a pellet and pellets actually help them get rid of the unwanted parts of an animal that they can't digest, such as teeth, toenails, hair, bone. Let's take a look at some of those pellets. As you can see, a lot of animals, a lot of birds of prey make pellets. Owls are not the only ones. So what is a pellet exactly? A pellet is formed in the digestive tract of a bird of prey, like an owl. And what happens is, the food, once it's swallowed, comes into the esophagus and comes down to this section right here. This is technically called the proventriculus. But for our purposes, we're gonna call it the garbage compactor. It's in this area that the pellet is formed. All the good, nutritious food from any of the animals that the owl eats will move on down into the stomach or the ventriculus. Anything like teeth and toenails, hair, bone, will get stuck here and it's a very big muscle so it actually compresses all of that leftover material into a pellet. Once this area is full, then the owl or the bird of prey will actually cough it back up or regurgitate it and then spit it out. So even though a pellet might look like scat, it is not. It is regurgitated, unused portions of their food. After teasing out all of the hair uh, from in the furry part of the pellet, there are lots and lots of little bones belonging to some critter, most likely a rodent. You can see over here is a skull, and over here are bottom jaw bones. We have leg bones, we have some ribs. And if you want to keep going, you could probably figure out which kind of rodent this was. Thanks again for joining me. And remember that our wildlife yard is open every single day from nine to five, except for Christmas and Thanksgiving. And if you'd like more information, please visit lakemetroparks.com.